sending love to the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Sending love to former President of the United States, Barack Obama. Sending love to our world leader who believes in love and compassion for everyone, who is the Dalai Lama. Sending love to First Lady Melania and love to the very courageous Malala. Sending love to the refugees of us, which regardless of our ancestors is most every one of us. Sending love to the First Nation people, the Native Americans of us, who were the first ones of us here. Sending love to people of all beautiful races and colors and cultures of our beautiful planet Earth. Sending love to all the NFL players who have taken a stand or knee and sending love to all the people who have booed or burned their shirts. Sending love to the Democrats and Republicans and Independents and all other parties. Sending love to the agnostics and Catholics and Protestants and Muslims and Hindus and Taoists and scientists and atheists. Sending love to Kim Jong-un and love to Rex Tillerson. Sending love to the United Nations and all leaders who strive for the best possible peaceful existence of all our people. Sending love to all our veterans who have been harmed or killed or returned home, affected by war. Sending love to all the civilians affected, harmed, or killed by war. Sending love to all the flood victims of 2017 in the United States, including Texas and Florida and Puerto Rico and all our coastal island neighbors who have been dealing with the devastation. Sending love to all those in Las Vegas and all other places which have been harmed by suffering individuals, we are still crying for you. Sending love to all those who have lost lives or one of the 5,700 homes in Northern California and those affected families. Sending love to all the firefighters and first responders and everyday people who step up to save lives and become heroes by taking care of one another. Sending love to Bill Gates and the Koch brothers and Warren Buffett and all the wealthy givers of us. Sending love to the homeless man in Providence who asked for spare change today. Sending love to our elders and love to our tiniest of children. For these are the ages of our people that look at life and the world with the greatest wisdom of all. Let us strive for the love and wonder children have of their world. Let us strive for the love and wisdom that our elders have to share. Let us have compassion and respect for every single person as we all are deserving of. And keep in mind that some in life never before have seen love. Let us have love and respect for all of life. Let us love ourselves well and also love outward to everyone we see best we can and to love and honor the life we all have on this amazing, beautiful planet Earth. Say to us, come on and say to
I am wandering in the darkness of a cold and pouring rainstorm. I've been alone and thinking and my thoughts now make me crazy with internal conflict I've been raising. So I wander in this dark place, a refuge for forgiveness. And I step up to the heavy door, listening, waiting, seeking. I need confession, I need forgiveness, I need acceptance for my imbalance. And the door slowly opens as I feel my fear increasing. Yet I go inside hearing the words rock and stir around me as I begin to speak. I hate that in retrospect I sometimes see myself in old ways, like when I was a girl, when my mind was never on straight, seeing people from my past who bring me back and smear the memories in my face. It is my fault, I know it makes me so ashamed to see mistakes I've made. But I love the transformation that I constantly am making, love to watch the way my life unfolds on this path that I am taking to feel the wisdom and hindsight of my past shine to guide me like a flashlight. I love to be silly and giddy in my mind. I love to pretend and laugh and skip a step. I feel the child so close in me like a shadow from behind. I like to look back and catch it when I can. There is so much somber and serious before me. I feel it deep around me. So I like to walk backwards from time to time in a crazy crooked line. But I hate to make mistakes, take chances and feel like a silly, stupid child, doer of unthinking things when impulsive ways got the better of me, caused me to hang my head, feel disgrace, like a child who throws a rock that hits a window, when just meaning for it to fly in outer space. when I fuss over my clothing, stare at my closet and wonder what to wear, worry about the hair I might be losing, seeing it turn up on my face instead somewhere. Sometimes wanting to be monk-like, wear a sack of black, chanting in a dark place while I slowly shave my head. But I love that when I enter a room once in a while, after all these years, I can still turn your head make you smile.
just a little more love for us in this world, in this world, in this world. is aging, watch the wrinkles start to grow, try to cover age with band-aids, to think that someday I'll have to grow back to the way of babies, rely on someone else to feed me, wipe my drool, tell me to behave, prepare me in my weakened state to let go of my life. I hate to think I'll have to be that brave. Everybody must stand up, stand up, everybody must stand up in this world. When I have a bad day, feel so alone and unhappy, thinking there is no one really here on my side. But I love that I feel solid in my selfhood. Remind myself we all feel alone from time to time, crowded and surrounded by billions on this planet, but feeling like we are the only one sometimes getting past that, getting up, brushing our knees off, looking around us, seeing connections we've made along the way that we are truly blessed with and move on to yet another day. <laughs>